Hi everyone, we have just been to Tesco's to get a load of snacks for just an hour's journey up to Borringdon Hall for a birthday weekend spa break. Here we are arriving to Borringdon Hall Hotel. As you can see, it's a beautiful day and we're going to enjoy it. It's um, the lovely hotel in Colebrook, Plimpton, and it's just off the uh, A38. So it's perfect location if you're traveling down to Devon or Cornwall. And here's some shots. It was amazing walking up to Borringdon and seeing all the beautiful tapestry and information boards on the wall. We found out that the history of Borrington stems all the way back to the Doomsday Book and it was just incredible standing in the building knowing that part of it had been there for over a thousand years. Getting all ready to go down to the spa. Very nice. Very nice, show us your toes. Your big toe, just <laughs> falling through. Ah, lovely. You're looking very smart. Thank you. Your complimentary beer. This has cost me 700 quid, this beer. On our way to the spa, just taking out the gardens. And that's our room up there. Or there, I can't work it out. Which one is it? Oh, that one. That one. There. While we were waiting, we had some cocktails in the sun and then we had our restorative back treatments, which were absolutely the most relaxing thing we've ever done. They did get a bit close to our bums though, <laughs> when they were um, massaging us, but we did feel very comfortable and relaxed come the end of it when we got used to it. And this post-treatment room was absolutely beautiful. Now it's time to go swimming again. He's just checking out his hair, come on. Just had the restorative back treatment. Lovely. Feeling nice and clean. Yes. Relaxed. Proper. Let's just head round the side of the building. So Ambos has caught me up the stairs of a lovely back shot. We are just heading towards the Gaia spa treatment area. And outside you see the outside hot tub, which is lovely. And as we come inside, this is the full treatment room with a cold pool there in front of us with a small swimming pool in front with a waterfall treatment and also back massage treatment, which you'll see later. Also, there are steam rooms, um, saunas and also salt rooms. Lovely. Here's the waterfall. And there's just, well, as you can tell, it's lovely. Very relaxing. And there's also the back treatment which is beautiful as well. Hard not to nod off and enjoying the view as well. On a beautiful day like that with the doors wide open, it doesn't really get better than that. So we've just come back from the spa. Fran is looking very smart, but he left his shoes in the van. So he's walking around in his slippers. <laughs> Go grab them. Okay. Right, and meanwhile, I'll, be... I'll show the room. I'll be back in a minute. Okay. So yeah, as you walk in, this is the room. It's at the Elizabethan room, I believe. One of the four poster bedrooms. In here we have the bathroom, just the standard bathroom, but it does the job nicely. Obviously the bed, which is the best part. Look at the beautiful detailing on the back. Really nice. Nice big wardrobe. All my shoes, bags and clothes for literally one night lovely bath which i hope to have tonight if i have enough time fancy chairs nice size tv and a good dressing table which i've annihilated at the moment with all my stuff we have just finished getting ready because we're going to go out to dinner now at the um hotel's lovely restaurant and i can't wait so brandon's arrived back with his fancy proper shoes Almost dinner time. This is the Cleef restaurant which overlooks the Great Hall. It's nice and close quarters and it's absolutely beautiful food created by the head chef Scott Patton. Scott and the chefs have gained lots of good accreditation such as receiving an AA3 rosette status and also being featured in the Michelin Guide. As you can see all the beautiful food and Brandon can't even wait to start before I take photos. I think in every photo or video I have of Brandon, he is looking directly at the food, and barely even stops to look up at me. It was just that beautiful, everything was rich and delicate, 
and well put together and presented. Just a wonderful dining experience. Oh look, and again, already eaten. So it's the next day and uh, we woke up bright and early and it's about 6am here and Amber wanted to go for a dip in the pool but realised it was quite cold, 25.5 degrees to be exact and we decided to shift over to the hotter pool which obviously is better. Here we are in the uh, outside hot tub, here's Amber gracefully coming outside and it was beautiful, nice and early, nice hot bubbly water, it doesn't get much better than that. So there I was finding the pool too cold and Brandon wanted something even more refreshing and cold so he went for the ice bucket challenge and that water there was absolutely freezing cold even the water that splashed off him onto me was enough to make me shiver time for breakfast and then we had donuts and drinks outside which was a bit of a silly idea because we were having an afternoon tea straight after Here's our afternoon tea setup, which is absolutely perfect. It was really nice, but we didn't have enough room in our bellies to finish it off. So we took it in a tub, took it to Timmouth Bat Beach, and we enjoyed the sunset whilst finishing off our afternoon tea together, which is absolutely beautiful. And here's our time-lapse. Warrington Hall really was perfect. Thank you for watching.